and Susanna here today and today we are working on another awesome free pattern. This is the grab and go robe from uh, Rad Patterns. Um, it's free and it is really really neat. Um, it is a great, it, it's a robe. Um, it is great for those like uh, maternity robes like if you're gonna have a baby or just to lounge around the house. Um, I've made up quite a few of these. I've given them as presents. Um, they're super cute. There's different lengths. There's options for a pocket. Um, there's option for if you want to put the neckband on or if you want to leave it uh, just fold over and sew. Uh, the sleeves um, have different details you can do. Um, what I did with my sleeve is on the pattern. The sleeve is supposed to is meant to have like a uh, sides that go down. Well, I just wanted it to be straight, so I folded my pattern up so it's straight. Um, and that is the only thing. I also, I'm not doing pockets, but I am doing the band um, on it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Super easy, super quick, super cute, and best of all, free. Um, all you have to do is go onto their Facebook um, group. Um, it's the Rad Patterns Facebook group, and go to their files. And under their files, uh, you will see the grab and go um, robe. And they have two different files on there. You got the one that's got the actual pattern on it, and then the other one that's got the instructions. Um, the instructions are pretty fairly um, easy to follow. Um, it's not really pictures, like some um, pattern ones have pictures. Um, this is more like uh, digital pictures, but it's still really, really easy to follow. And if you have any questions, you can come here and watch the video, do it together. Um, super quick, super fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I already cut out the pattern, like I said. All the pieces are cut out. I am doing the, I think the mid length. I'm trying to, um, yeah, I'm doing the longer length. I mean, the shorter length, I think. Um, I have to go back and look, but I'll let you know once I, I put it on, I show it to you. Um, and then, um, and I'm doing, like I said, the band as well, but I'm not doing pocket. Okay, so this is my back piece. You can tell because it's barely got a low neckline right there. Um, and these are my shoulders right here at the top. I'm gonna grab my front piece and I'm gonna put, I got two front pieces. As you can see, one side of it, it's got the, uh, the arm shape. And then the other one just goes straight down in like a, uh, it's just going down like in, uh, uh, going sideways. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that shoulder seam right sides together, the two shoulders. Make sure that it's going, see how the the arm is gonna meet over here. So this is the, the same shape over here. So here's my one, and I'm gonna do the same for the other one. These are my two fronts, right sides together, right on top of those shoulders. I am going to be using my serger to sew this together, but if you want to use your sewing machine with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, you could do that. Um, and any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine would work. I am using double brush poly because it's super soft and I don't, I like that it doesn't really wrinkle very easily. Um, but this robe would also be awesome on something like French Terry, some kind of really plush sweater knit. Um, and honestly, it is kind of loose. Um, so it would probably even be okay to make with some kind of um, uh, minky or something that doesn't have a whole lot of stretch. I don't think that it would make a huge difference on the pattern because it is kind of loose. If anything, maybe I would size up one just so it would fit nice and, and loose. Um, but I don't think that it would um, affect the pattern a whole lot if we used something else that was like fleece or something like that. I think that would be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew those shoulders together. All right, now that my shoulders are sewn together, we're gonna go ahead and attach our sleeves. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and see right here where your arm side is, not where the neck hole is, but where your arm goes, right here. We're gonna open that up and put it right on top of our board. Here you can see the shape right there, Bo. My doggy Bo is here with me. He's sewing, you wanna say hi to him? Bo, come here, come here, on this side. Oh, you gonna come on this side? You gonna say hello? Come say hello. Say hi. Hi friends, here he is. Isn't he the cutest little thing? Yes, he is. Thank you. He loves to hang out with us. He loves to hang out and sew with me. So now that he said hello, we're gonna move on. 
Okay, so I've got my two uh, pieces right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold them in half. And I am gonna go ahead and just find that top on both of them. So I just folded both of them in half and I'm gonna mark it right here at the top. Where did I put my scissors? My scissors are here somewhere. Here they are. My scissor. Um, I can't find my little ones. I must have put them away somewhere. So I'm just gonna use this one. And I'm gonna mark that top. How I mark my top, if you've seen any of my other videos, I explain this every time and I just, I explain it every time because it's such a quick and easy thing to do and it's so helpful. I do a little tiny notch on my fabric. So that way when I sew, if my pin falls off or something, I still know where it is that I'm supposed to be have, that I'm supposed to be at. Um, but it's not big enough that you can even see it once you sew it together. So we're gonna grab one of the sleeves and we're gonna put it right side down on that shoulder seam where we, the mark that we just made is gonna go right on that shoulder seam. And then we're gonna go down the front. Well, this is actually the back. And we're just matching those raw edges together. Matching the raw edges together so that we get to the end right here and we've got all raw edges touching right sides together okay and pin. and we're gonna do the same thing towards the other side matching those raw edges together and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other sleeve now some people like to go ahead and do one sleeve and go ahead and sew it and then they pin the other sleeve and then go ahead and sew in it but I like to go ahead and pin both sleeves and then sewing it. So let's pin both sleeves, or, you know, sew one, pin one, sew one, and then sew them together. All right, so my sleeves are on. I sewed both of my sleeves on, and now we're almost completed with our robe. So now I'm gonna fold it right sides together, and I'm gonna meet those raw edges on the sides. Right here, where my armpit meets, right here, I'm gonna meet that seam and I'm gonna go down the sleeve. Down the sleeve. And I am not very good at matching my stripes. So sometimes I don't even try. I'm also not very like worried about it when it comes down to it. I know some people like to ma stripe match. I'm just like, eh, it looks good. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, so we're matching that raw edge together on the outside of our robe, right sides together. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So this was my one side and we're gonna do the, other, the same thing for the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew it together. All right, sides are sewn together. Now, from here, there's two different options. If you would like, you can just go ahead and all around the side, the outside, just hem top stitch all around the whole thing. Your robe is basically done. Um, you can top stitch around the whole thing or um, you can attach a band. Now this band can be done with the same kind of material. You could use some silk. You can use some different kind of uh, things that you wanna do, whatever you wanna do with the border around the band. So I am just gonna use my same material. So I cut two of them. And first things first, we're gonna go ahead and sew them together. I'm gonna grab my one and put the other one right on top of it, right sides together, and we're gonna sew them together at the raw edge. Okay, now that they're sewn together, I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to fold it wrong sides together is how I'm going to attach it. First things first, we're gonna find our back point of our rope. We're gonna grab our shoulder seams, we're gonna meet them together, and we're gonna go to the back. 
And here on the back, we're gonna mark it. You guessed it, we're gonna notch it. Here we go, notch. So now we're gonna put that piece, my seam, right over that notch. My seam where I met my two pieces, it's gonna go right over that notch, okay? And then, look at that, didn't try to stripe match and it ended up stripe matching. Every time, whenever I try, it doesn't work. When I don't try, then there it is. How does that happen? I don't know. I'm grabbing my side. And as you can tell, my side is longer. Let's see if you can tell. My side is longer than my band. My band stops right here. My side has a little bit more to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it from here to there. And you can, however you wanna do it to even it out, I do it the easy way. Easy to me. I'm gonna fold it, make sure it's nice and raw edges together. Wrong sides together. And I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull it to the end. I'm gonna go ahead and pin it to the end of the rope, all the way at the end. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is, here is my start. I'm gonna pull it so that my band is stretched out just the right amount. It's not gonna need to stretch a whole lot. It's not that it needs a whole lot to stretch. So then I'm gonna pin it right here. And then I'm gonna finish pinning all the way up my neck. The raw edge of the, of the rope and the raw edge of the band. All the way up the neck. Again, you're not gonna be stretching it a whole lot, so it's not really that hard to just pull at it and kind of even it out. Okay, and I'm gonna add a couple more pins here and there. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, because this was my one side. I'm gonna go from the top and go down the other side as well. All right, now they have been pinned both sides. We're gonna go ahead and sew it together. We're just gonna sew all the way around. Our band is sewn on. What you wanna do is you wanna go back and steam that band down so you don't have any wavies. Okay, all the way down. My iron turned off, so it's not doing that great of a job, but you get the idea. You steam it all the way down. If you want to, you can go ahead and top stitch that band down. I am not going to because I don't wanna do that extra work and I think it looks just fine without top stitching it down. But it is up to you, especially if you're doing it for a gift for someone else and you feel like it would give it a more finished look, you can do that, but it looks amazing as is. So I think I'm going to leave it. One of the things I didn't really talk about and I didn't really do was the fact that we can attach, um, this is not on the pattern, but I've done this before. If you're going to do a belt for it, now the, the belt measurements are on the pattern, but it doesn't talk about having something that you put on here for you to hang it and uh, your belt on. Because I know sometimes when you have a robe, you're not gonna just keep a belt with you at all times. But if you have the little loopy things here, then you can just have it on, but just hanging at all times. One of the ways that I've had people show me that they, what they do is they attach little serger tails. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna let my serger go a little bit and I'm gonna pull on my serger tail like so and I have had friends who use these little tails and that is what they attach to the robe to be like where they hang their um, their uh, 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 belt to so what I would do is 
sometimes I do it before I sew the rope together and I totally spaced out today when I was making this one. And I will go ahead and put it right where I think it's going to be my height. You, I can try it on and say, hey, this is where I want it. And I'm gonna put it there so when I sew it together, it'll be stuck. But if you're like me and you forgot, that's okay. You're just gonna put it right at the spot where you wanna put it. And right on the seam, I'm going to sew back and forth with my sewing machine and just attach this little thing right to it so that later on I can hang my belt from it so I don't have to just have it tied at all times or have a belt with me that I have nowhere to put. So that's what I'm going to do once I put it together. So I'm putting it to the side. And now I'm working on my belt. The measurements for the belt are all, and all of those things are on the pattern. So that's awesome because you don't have to figure it out on your own. But if you wanted a longer belt or a shorter belt, it really is up to you. Um, that is the great thing about sewing. I'm grabbing my belt, I'm folding it in half, right sides together this time, because we're gonna sew it together and we're gonna sew up the side, down the whole two sides together, leaving like a two inch gap somewhere where we can turn it around. So I'm gonna go ahead, you can pin it, you don't have to pin it, sometimes I don't pin it, Double brush poly is really, really, um, it kind of sticks together, so I don't have to pin it every single time. So I'm putting it together and then I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. All right, so I left my gap right here in the middle and now I'm gonna grab my belt and turn it. I'm turning it right side out. Pulling it all the way out. Easy peasy. Then on that spot where I left it open, I used my tweezers right here at the end to make sure I pull it all the way out. These are my side, my ends, okay? Where, and then I'm, let's pull the other side as well. Coming along, we're almost done. Isn't this such an easy pattern? And it is super cute, super useful, great for uh, giving away at baby showers, uh, giving away at wedding showers, giving away at birthdays, giving away at Christmas, giving away at any, any, any time, really, um, for uh, anyone, any occasion for anyone. So it's a great present. Okay, and then here, where I have that piece, I'm just gonna fold the edges in and I'm gonna go back with my sewing machine and top stitch. So I'm just gonna top stitch right there. And if you wanted to top stitch the whole thing, you would just get fit into there and top stitch and your belt is done. Now all I have to do is hem and attach my little loop the thingy so to hold my belt on. I'm going to Hem with a half an inch seam allowance. I don't measure my seam allowance. I just go for it. And we are steaming that half inch allowance down all the way around. And we are almost done because this is it. All right, after I've pinned, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it on my cover stitch. Now, if you want, you can use a uh, your sewing machine or uh, whatever you wanna do it. I have a cover stitch, so it makes it easier. So we're gonna go ahead and go over there and sew it. All right, my robe is basically done. So now we're just going to do those loops that I didn't do earlier. So I'm gonna try it on. I love it already, do you love it? Look at this, so comfy, so cute. I'm gonna figure it out like right about here, which is about four or five inches from the top. If I have a ruler, actually, I have a little handy dandy measuring tape. We can measure, we'll start right here. And we'll go up to the armpit. Yep, exactly, five inches. So I'm gonna do five inches from the top. I mean, from the armp armpit area. 
I'm gonna measure my five inches and I am gonna go right at five inches right there. And that is where I'm gonna grab my handy dandy thread. Go ahead and cut it first because I didn't have it ready yet. I'm gonna have two of them. Obviously one for each side. Okay, I'm gonna fold it together. I'm gonna put it right there at my five inches, which I already lost count of, so I'm gonna do it again using my measuring tape. From the middle to the five inches right here. I'm gonna pin it and I'm just going to stitch it right onto my rope. Again, you could have done this at the beginning and sewn it together right there, but I totally forgot. Bo says hello. Oh, you wanna wed. Okay, so we're gonna go to our sewing machine and I'm going to, I guess it would help if I turned it on. And I'm just gonna do a little stitch right there, stitch a root to hold it together. Move that pin so it doesn't run over and back and forth and back and forth. And if I want to, I can just trim that. But there it is. We have a little loop de loop right here where handy loop de loop where we can hang our belt from. Now, this one's a little long. You can make it shorter than that. I can fix it, I can always make it shorter. And then I'm going to make the other one as well. How cute is this robe? Now it is finished super cute and super easy as well. I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial. I can't wait to see how many you make for your friends, your family, your loved ones, and for yourself. Um, with a handy dandy belt loop, it doesn't, then my belt won't get lost anywhere and I can just tie it around and just lounge around all day. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did or any other patterns that you would like me to try, free patterns. Um, go find this pattern, print it out, sew it up. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to see what you're making. Uh, come follow me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, links below. And um, I hope you comment, like, share, subscribe so you never miss on any of these uh, tutorials. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.